here's the thing about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can't be persuaded to change his mind. Once the Holy Spirit has told you something, he's convicted you about something, he's dealing with you about something, you can't bargain with him. You can't tell him, well, okay, I, I hear you, Holy Spirit, but why don't we do it this way instead? No, it's either his way or no way. It's either submission or correction. And this is actually the mercy of God because God loves you too much to leave you in your compromise. Just like with Jonah, God tells him to go to Nineveh, Jonah goes the opposite direction and God destroys his means of disobedience. The scripture says that a wind was hurled out of the presence of the Lord to destroy that ship. In other words, God was destroying his means of disobedience. Not all destruction is ultimately destructive. Sometimes what God is destroying are the things that are destroying us. He'll shake up that relationship if you shouldn't be in it. He'll begin to shake things up if it means that you become reliant upon him again. 